Hey guys, um, we are, well, I, you probably can't see now, um, well, I'm sitting in my mini, 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 really mini, uh, home studio, uh, at my house in New Mexico. Um, the stuff I have here is, pra is practice stuff, because I'm, all of my, like, my, um, my head and my, and my cabinet, um, is at Garrett's house. So here I have like stuff I can bring home from there, like my pedal board, um, my guitar, and that's pretty much that all that I bring home from from Garrett's house after after practice and stuff. So I'll just take you around the room, kind of show you what's going on. All right, well that's a scratch on the wall from the old couch we used to have. It's a long story, anyways. That is a Fender Mustang um, combo amp. The Fender Mustang One. It's a eight-inch speaker, um, which actually I don't know if you can see very well, but it's not a very big room, so it it's perfect um, for the room, and it it sounds sounds not bad. So you know, Fender, yeah. Um, that's an old Rogue amp that I don't ever use because it sounds awful, but it's the first amp that I ever had, so it's kind of got some sentimental. Um, sentimental value more than anything else. Um, that's the guitar, Mix the Magic, Telecaster, Butterscotch Blonde. Mm. Um, this is an acoustic, it's Epiphone. It's a good sounding guitar, got some good strings on there, it sounds pretty sweet. All my guitars, you can't tell the difference, but the neck on all of them, uh, I took the finish off with just some uh, some a Scotch Bright pad, so um, that's ba a base. It's Epiphone again. It's a piece of shit. Um, <laughs> I don't ever use it. I'm supposed to be fixing the frets on it, but I don't. Mic stand, pop filter, cool movie poster. Um, that's my TV, National Tap, uh, and then I'm a PS3 guy. So boom. I don't ever play it though. I can't remember the last time it was on Christmas stuff that I need to play. Uh, this cable is kind of bare right now. That's like a cable, like wall hanger thing, <laughs> but it's pretty empty. Um, lastly, we got monitors, uh, interface, and um, the Mac. Again, all the all the big good stuff is at Garrett's house, um, like the mixer and all this stuff. Um, the only thing I take over there of, of this stuff is my Mac, because that's the only one we have in the band, and it, it's we like recording on it. And then sometimes I'll take the uh, audio interface, just because you know sometimes we use it for certain stuff. But um, this is a mic over here, microphone. Probably can't see it, so I'll take it out real quick. It's just in the bag. It's an MXL V63L or something like that. I don't know what it's called exactly. But, you know. Um, pick a cup. It's good luck. Gotta put the lid on. Let all the tunes get out of there. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, studio chair. Because <laughs> I was using that one before, but it squeaks a lot. So. Mm, I went to this one, which doesn't squeak at all, but is not as comfortable as that one. Sacrifices we make for good music. Oh, um, pedal board. Um, right here is the uh, Jet City, or Shockwave Distortion by Jet City, which actually my head is a Jet City too, and they're awesome. You guys should definitely check them out if you're looking for new gear. Um, Shockwave Distortion, it's a good pedal. Um, this is the EP Booster by Exotic. It's awesome again. Uh, MXR Noise Clamp, um, it's really basic, but it does everything I need it to do, so it's great. And then this is the Blues Overdrive by Akai Professional, and it is pretty awesome too. Um, it gives it gives you some really some really sweet crunch. So. Um, 
next time I go, next time I practice, I'll go do a, a thing at Garrett's, of our, well, I guess, our main studio at Garrett's house. So, um, yeah, be looking for that. It's going to be pretty sweet. Laters.